today's lesson is lesson seven four and it's called scale drawings um something new to you probably in math class but not new to you in social studies and what i mean by if i look down here and I look at these two questions. My first question is, what is a scale and what does it do? A lot of you would think a scale is measures weight. But I think if you, if you think of your social studies book, it maybe has a thing like this. And it says, oh, this is 500 miles. And they make you uh, measure it in your book. And you have to know if it's six inches, how many miles is it? That's what a scale. So you find this most of the time in your social studies book in a map, on a map. And then another question, I think you probably had this before, it said if a map has a scale of 1 inches, inches 500 miles, how many miles is 3 inches? Um, and we're going to solve these and find the answer for these today. You could probably figure this one out. If 1 inch is 500 miles, how many is 300 inches? Well, if 1 inch is 500 miles, and the second inch is 500 miles, and the third inch is 500 miles, you know 3 inches altogether is 1,500 miles miles. So these are pretty simple, but we're going to get to some harder ones coming up. But this is what we're talking about today, using scales, measuring, and then figuring out um, maybe what the actual distance is or the actual feet or something along those lines, depending on what the problem is. So the next vocabulary word I have for you is scale drawing. And a scale drawing is used to show something that's either too large or too small to show an actual size. And if you know of anybody who's ever built anything before, any carpenters, any architects, and you've heard of the term blueprint, a blueprint is a scale drawing. It breaks it down to a smaller size so they can look at it on a piece of paper. If you think of a huge building and you're, people are going to build big buildings, they have to have a blueprint because there's no way they could actually see this thing without having it on paper. And there's no way that it could be visualized or things could be changed without looking at it at a smaller model. And this is just an example. I just have a picture of a bathroom up here. It just shows me, first of all, it shows me the scale. Usually every time you have a scale drawing or a blueprint, they give you some kind of scale. And this says one fourth of an inch equals one foot. And then it kind of gives you an idea of what a scale drawing would look like. There's actually a formula for scale formula, um, and it looks like this scale over the actual length and distance. Today, we're going to use proportions, and I don't know if you remember proportions. We used this a few, geez, a few chapters ago, and they looked like this. You set them up like this, and maybe this was X and Y, and this was A and B, and maybe you had a solve for one of them, um, that we're going to be using proportions today with the scale formula. So it's scale over actual. Scale over actual. I'll show you how we're going to use that in a second. So here's an example of a problem. It says Jamie drew a car to the scale of one inch to four feet. If the car measures three inches wide, how many feet is this? So the first thing they're always going to do is they're always going to give you a scale, and this is the scale. And we can already write that in our proportion. And when I talked about scale over actual, we mean that for the scale for every one inch, it's actually four feet on this drawing. Then I'm going to set up my proportion, and I'm going to have something else on the other side. And it says if a car measures three inches wide, how many feet is this? So then you're given three inches. Okay, so where would that go in my proportion? Would it go on the top or the bottom? I hope you said the top, because remember, inches across, whatever inches goes across from inches, feet goes across from feet, whatever the same measurement is goes across from each other. Now, this is really what I'm looking for, is this open box right here. Do you remember how to solve these then? So if I hope you're thinking back to solving proportions, you do, if you have two numbers that are across from each other, you multiply them. So it would be 4 times 3 equals 12. And then you divide by the other one. 12 divided by 1 is 12 inches. And that is your answer. So if she really measures 12, 3 inches on her sheet of paper and she's going to build it, it's really going to be 12 inches in real life. So setting proportion is the most important thing today. Okay, so here's another one. It says a bolt is 1.2 centimeters long. Find the length of an enlarged drawing of this bolt at a scale of 15 to 2. So the scale length 
and I give you some ideas here. So when they list it like this, the scale length is first and the actual length is second. So I'm going to write 15. And I'm going to write 2. Okay. And I have to go back to figure out what my bolt is. Is it the actual length that my bolt is or is it like the drawing of the bolt? Well, if it says a bolt is 1.2 centimeters long, I know that's the actual that's the actual. So we know actual always goes underneath. So actual is going to go on this side. And this would be x. So I'm just going to quick do it on my calculator if I can find it. <laughs> I don't even see it. I don't know where it's at. Okay, well, 15 times 1.2. is 18 and I'm going to divide by 2 which would be 9 so my scale length would be 9 let's try this one this says Jackie found that a Des Moines that Des Moines and Omaha are 1.75 inches apart on a map with the scale of 1 inch is 80 miles what is the actual distance between Des Moines and Omaha so first of all, I have my scale. It's giving it to me right here. So I'm going to write that in a proportion. One inch, so for every one inch on my map, it equals 80 miles. Okay, let's go to my other side. It says up here, she found that Des Moines and Omaha are 1.75 inches apart on the map. So if on the map, that's not the actual, so that's going to go across from the inches. This is what you'll be looking for. So to solve, you would take 80 times 1.75 and you're going to get 14. Okay, so that times each other is 14. And then I'm going to divide by 1 and be 14. That does not sound right. 1 inch, that doesn't sound right. Let me put that in again. Oh, I see what I did. 18 times 1.75. There we go. 80, oh my gosh, what's happening? 80 times 1.75, there we go. 80 times 1.75 is 140. I forgot my zero. Then divide by one. So I know that on the map, they're approximately 140 miles away from each other. All right, I'm going to do another one with you. Let's say on a map, okay, Lamar's, is three inches away from Des Moines. I'm just making this up, by the way. This is not true. The scale is one inch is equal to 150 miles. This is way not right, but I'm just making up everything, okay? Find the actual distance. Okay, so first of all, where's my scale? My scale is right here. Okay, so I'm going to set that up. One inch, 150 miles. Okay, and then if I know Lamar's is three inches away, so three inches is going to go here. This would be X. So I would take 3 times 150, I believe is 450. I'm going to divide by that 1 inch, which we don't really need to do, but so 450 miles would be how far away Lamar's and Des Moines are. Let's try another one. You do this one by yourself. Let's say I have a scale drawing of a Ferris wheel. Okay, And the Ferris wheel on the scale drawing is two inches high. Okay, my scale is half inch equals ten feet. Okay, so this is remember this is my scale drawing. I want to know in real life how tall this Ferris wheel is. 
So I want to know in real life how tall this Ferris wheel is. So set up the proportion, use your scale, start figuring out where everything needs to go. So half inch, 10 feet, I'm going to write it like that. Okay, and on the other side, 2 inches is going to go here. And to solve, you're going to take 10 times 2, which would be 20. 20 divided by half would be 40 feet. And if you're not sure how to do this, it would be 20 over 1 times 2 over 1, because we have to keep change flip there. It would be 40 over 1. All right, you try one more, and then I'll be done for today. Oops. These are blank. Here we go. Uh, let's see. Chicago and LA are six inches apart on a map. The scale is one inch is 250 miles. How far are they in real life? Okay, well, set up your proportions. Figure out what needs to go where. I always start with my scale over here. I always put the scale over here that they give me. I always do. And this side for me is always what I'm missing. There's something going to be missing over here. That's what I always do. So one inch, 250 miles. And then I have six inches. And I have to solve for x. So 250 times six. 250 times six. Oops. It would be 1,500 miles. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then divide by one, still 1,500 miles. All right, well, now you know how to do some of Mr. Meyer's stuff in his social studies class. We'll probably talk about this again um, the next time I see you, just so we can actually maybe practice in some of our textbooks a little bit. It'll make a little more sense for, to you now that we've actually talked about it in math class. So I hope you have a good day today. Thanks for watching till the end, and let me know if you have any questions. Just do your best on the homework. We'll see you soon.